So that to me is what mechanics basically does. And as I was saying, these concepts are very different. You don't hear them uh, uh, pretty much anywhere else. I can count on one hand the number of golf instructors in the world who talk about golf as being a hand-eye coordination skill, which is essentially what it is. A golf, striking a golf ball is essentially a stationary ball hand-eye coordination skill. So um, what ends up happening is golf gets very, very complicated because golfers don't view it as that. And it's so very different, you might be wondering, well, does this have any scientific validity? Well, for those of you who are, uh, have a subscription to Golf Magazine, you might have recalled an article in the September issue of 2009. And the article was entitled, New Ways to Improve. And it featured some research by Dr. Gabrielle Wolf uh, of the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. She is a uh, sports psychology researcher. Her specialty is researching what she calls performance cues. So a performance cue is essentially the thought that the performer has to execute the skill. So she researches what is it that people who are exquisitely skilled in a particular area, what thought processes do they have to execute the skill? So she's done experiment experiments in all kinds of sports and she did a golf experiment and the golf experiment essentially was done with novice golfers people who either had not golfed at all never touched a club in their life or had been to the driving range maybe once or twice so that they were all basically at the same novice skill level they were the the group of, of students was divided into three groups the first group was given instruction only on the task at hand and the task at hand was to take a nine iron and hit a little shot of about 30 odd yards kind of hit that one a little fat hit a shot I hit that one fat too <laughs> I guess I should focus on what I'm doing rather than talking to you <laughs> there we go so the task was to hit a little nine iron shot to a target approximately 30 yards away. And the target was a 15 foot circle. And so the groups were divided into three. The first group was simply told, hit that ball into that 15 foot circle with this nine iron. That's all they were told. The second group was given instruction to focus on their arms swinging back and forth like a pendulum. That cue was what Dr. Wolf calls a internal cue. Internal meaning focusing on me, the performer, rather than on the implement that I'm using. So the, the internal cue for the one group was to swing their arms back and forth like a pendulum to get the ball from point A to point B into the 15 foot circle. The third group was given pretty much the identical instruction. I actually phoned Dr. Wolf and asked her what was the instruction that the, the two different groups were, were, were given. And she said that they purposely made the instructions as similar as possible so there wouldn't be much scientific deviation. And the group was given uh, the internal cue of swinging the arms like the pendulum. And then the final group was what she called the external cue group they were told to focus on the head of the golf club swinging like a pendulum. So, the third group was to focus on the club head swinging like a pendulum back and forth to try to get it into the 15-foot uh, circle. The results went something like this. The golfers who had uh, the internal cue, in other words, focusing on themselves and their arm, they didn't improve any better than the, the novice group that was simply told to hit the ball with the 9 in the 15-foot circle. Their, their results were basically identical. In fact, as I looked at the graph, the group that had the, the professional instructor tell them to swing their arms like a pendulum, they actually dipped a little bit and got worse before they kind of came back and got up about the same as the group that had no instruction whatsoever. 
the group that was told to focus on swinging the club head as if it were a swinging pendulum back and forth, they improved 33% more than the groups that were told to focus on their body parts. And one of the things that really, really struck me was a quote on the page in which Dr. Wolf said, in decades of research, I have never seen improvement with people using internal cues. Now, think about what she's saying there. And I don't think she means golf specifically, but in any endeavor, when the performer tries to think about what they're doing with their body parts, as opposed to what their external objective is, uh, they don't perform very well. As soon as the objective is in mind, and oftentimes the implement or the, the thing being used to create the objective, then the performance improves. So consider what she's saying here if you relate it to golf. Golf has been taught for centuries by using internal cues. Every instruction that you receive, whether you receive it from your golfing friend or you go and take a lesson or you watch an instruction show on TV, virtually every instruction you receive has to do with you and your parts. The presumption being that if you and your parts are all doing the right thing, well, that should make the club do the right thing. Okay? Well, what did Dr. Wolf say? She has never seen improvement when people use internal cues. She has only seen people improve their performance when they focus externally. And in my 25 years of teaching, I've seen that literally come to pass.